July 22nd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapter 79 and 80 from the Old Testament. O God, foreigners have invaded your chosen land. They have polluted your holy temple and turned Jerusalem into a heap of ruins. They have given the corpses of your servants to the birds of the sky, the flesh of your loyal followers to the beast of the earth. They have made their blood flow like water all around Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury them. We have become an object of disdain to our neighbors. Those who live on our borders taunt and insult us. How long will this go on, O Lord? Will you stay angry forever? How long will your rage burn like fire? Pour out your anger on the nations that do not acknowledge you, on the kingdoms that do not pray to you, for they have devoured Jacob and destroyed his home. Do not hold us accountable for the sins of earlier generations. Quickly send your compassion our way, for we are in serious trouble. Help us, O God, our Deliverer, for the sake of your glorious reputation, rescue us. Forgive our sins for the sake of your reputation. Why should the nation say, Where is their God? Before our very eyes may the shed blood of your servants be avenged among the nations. Listen to the painful cries of the prisoners. Use your great strength to set free those condemned to die. Pay back our neighbors in full. May they be insulted the same way they insulted you, O Lord. Then we, your people, the sheep of your pasture, will continually thank you. We will tell coming generations of your praiseworthy acts. O shepherd of Israel, pay attention. You who lead Joseph like a flock of sheep, you who sit enthroned above the winged angels, reveal your splendor. In the sight of Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh, reveal your power. Come and deliver us, O God, restore us. Smile on us, then we will be delivered. O Lord God, invincible warrior, how long will you remain angry at your people while they pray to you? You have given them tears as food. You have made them drink tears by the measure. You have made our neighbors dislike us, and our enemies insult us. O God, invincible warrior, restore us. Smile on us, then we will be delivered. You uprooted a vine from Egypt. You drove out nations and transplanted it. You cleared the ground for it. It took root and filled the land. The mountains were covered by its shadow, the highest cedars by its branches. Its branches reached the Mediterranean Sea, and it shoots the Euphrates River. Why did you break down its walls, so that all who pass by pluck its fruit? The wild boars of the forest ruin it. The insects of the field feed on it. O oh God, invincible warrior, come back. Look down from heaven and take notice. Take care of this vine. The root your right hand planted, the shoot you made to grow, it is burned and cut down. They die because you are displeased with them. May you give support to the one you have chosen, to the one whom you have raised up for yourself. Then we will not turn away from you. Revive us, and we will pray to you. O Lord God, invincible warrior, restore us. Smile on us. Then we will be delivered. God, today, please look at the vine you have created of me. Please prune it. I want to do all that you created me for, God. And it feels like there's a lot of dead weight on me. Sin choices that stretch out from ego. Sin choices that stretch out from previous bad habits that are still choices I'm making. God, take this vine and prune it so that it can be what you need it to be, so that the branches do reach out to all the areas that you know that you want me to work in. God, I know when I ask you this, that it is incredibly painful what is about to come, but afterwards, after it's pruned and all of the newness starts to happen in my life, it is truly glorious. It is truly amazing. God, I thank you for loving me enough to prune what you've created, to prune off all of the bad things and the hurtful things and the things of this world that I've at attached to my own vine. God, I ask that you just purge everything from me that is making me unholy and able to do your work and glorify you. 
God, I ask as, as you prune away those areas that you will provide me strength to keep those areas at bay and go on to new things, new things that you want me to do, new things you want me to pursue, new ways you want me to do things. God, please today come in and prune us. Help everyone say this prayer to you so that we can all grow together and do what you've called us to do. I thank you in advance for your strength and the power to do what pleases you. In your son's name I pray, amen. <laughs>